Hello, Big Gumbo here. I'm just gonna do a big thrift haul for you. Me and my girlfriend went to the thrifts today. She found some stuff for her to sell and I found some stuff for me to sell and some stuff for us to keep. She, well, I actually found this, but I gave it to her because she might keep it. It's a merino wool base layer shirt. The company's called La Bint. It was new at Tags, only three bucks because it was half off. Uh, maybe 30 bucks, I don't know. But she's probably gonna keep it. Then she found this. I was pretty excited for her. It's an Arcturix um, goose down jacket. Crazy, in her size. So she's probably gonna keep this as well, even though it's kind of a wacky color. It's got some like stains on it, but we're just gonna spray it with a bunch of shout and then hand wash it. And it's legit too, you can tell the new, the new uh, more modern Arcturx tag, looks like that. It's gonna be like kind of a crispy, it's probably made out of like nylon or something. And then good tag inside, it even has, it's a good sign if it has the actual style name. This one is called the Cerium LT hoodie. It sells new for like $400. Pretty much anything Arcturix, Arcturix, uh, that's goose down, super good. So proud of her for finding that. She also found a smart wool skirt and a women's XL. Kind of smells like uh, perfume. But unfortunately it probably came with a jacket or something. Um, and uh, she only found the skirt part of it. So they gave this to her for I think she paid three dollars for it. She found a bunch of these rabbit shorts. It's like a running company, it's really good. They sell it at REI. Rabbit, there's the little rabbit logo. She found some mother, mother they make, their jeans are super good. She just listed a pair the other day for like, or she just found one, she didn't list it yet, for like 125 that she'd go for. Some Cotopaxi shorts, another little REI outdoor brand. And all this stuff she got for super cheap. Some Eileen Fisher pants. Like some uh, kind of wide leg crop pants. Some more rabbit shorts. Pretty good stuff. What's this one? It's a new with tags. Like anthropology, kind of like a chunky knit uh, poncho sweater thing. She says it's pretty good. So she just got some Beyond Yoga, like, I think those are called bike shorts. Beyond Yoga logo looks like this. Kind of an iffy brand, but for three bucks, it should be pretty good. And then she got some more. Um, this is all stuff I would also get for the same price as she paid for it, if I found it. Rabbit. Another brand similar to that is Tracksmith. Tracksmith's probably better, because they make a lot of merino wool stuff. Let's see, is this her receipt? That's her receipt. All right, there's some stuff from her. Here's some stuff I found. Found a bunch of these, I only grabbed this one because, uh, I'm gonna put the word tiki in there because it's kind of like a tiki pattern. It's just an L.O. Bean, like camp button-up shirt. Got for real cheap. Found a couple of these guys. What was awesome today was even the red tags were half off, so. Uh, G4. Like golf pullover. These were a little bit kind of sus um, because I think they're G4 and then they also did like this embroidery on it after, um, but it's a G4 embroidery. And I inspected the hell out of this. The part that sucks is the, pre it feels very nice, but the previous owner cut out the material tag, which is how I would really be able to verify its authenticity. But it has this really detailed zipper pull with the G4 logo on it. And typically when you find something that's fake, the zippers are like crappy knockoff G4 
cheap things. Here's another one. This one they put on a little skull guy with the golf tees there because it's a golf company. It's another G4. The big logo on the back. It's like a pullover sweater thing. Uh, again, that one had the little tag cut out, but it has the nice zipper. At this specific thrift store, I find a lot of stuff from the Cosmopolitan Casino. Like, usually when I find like G4 stuff there, it has Cosmopolitan embroidered on it. So I don't know what's up with that. Got some Young La shorts. Got some Lululemon shorts. All this stuff's super cheap. Like these are some lined men's running shorts. Not Pacebreaker, I don't know what the style is. Like these were 350. Some more Young La. Young LA is what they're actually called. Uh, more Lululemon. These ones are the Pacebreaker. You can tell by the, this thing here. Those are like my most common ones that I find. Here's another G4 polo. So like this one, I paid half off of 14, uh, seven bucks. Pretty good, super nice and stretchy and soft. Some Gore-Tex rain pants. These ones are Sun Ice or Sunnies. I think it's like a golf brand that doesn't do that well. But I grab them because they're Gore-Tex and they're cheap. Some G-Star raw jeans. These ones actually might be women's, or other men's. Cheap, probably like 45 bucks on those. Some more Young LA shorts. Usually just sell those for like 20 bucks. Not that good. Uh, once I found it was half off, once I found out it was half off, I started grabbing a lot more stuff. An untuck it hoodie, like a knit hoodie, not great. A smart wool t-shirt. Uh, probably gonna try this on. So I'm really into merino wool right now. That's what I asked for for Christmas. My aunt just sent me some socks and a smart wool shirt. And I'm, I'm wearing merino wool socks right now. If you wear merino wool socks, I promise your feet will never smell. Just a t-shirt. So all the t-shirts were two dollars because they were half off. It's just Abbey Road Studios new tags. It's like where the Beatles recorded. Another pair of Lululemon shorts. This is all from the same thrift store, where my girlfriend found the Arcteryx jacket. Bugatti uh, eight-way stretch shirt. They have the O cottons, which are really good, and then they have just the eight-way stretch. Over 100% sell-through rate on eight-way stretch. Bugatti, like 30 bucks or so. Found this cool military jacket. It's got this thing on the back. It looks like something that Ralph Lauren would make. It says DDG 15, uh, first division 27, whatever that means. It's like a cool, almost like a bomber with like a fleece lining. It's vintage from the eighties. I didn't even look it up, it was just cool, so I grabbed it. I sell a lot of military stuff. Same thrift store. We have Panhandle Slim. If it's Paisley, Pearl Snap, and it's cheap, Panhandle Slim, I'll grab it. Or if it's vintage, I grab it. We got a Ralph Lauren, uh, Ralph Lauren Purple Label shirt, made in Italy. Someone's name written on it. I usually don't grab those for just the plain button-up shirts. They're not that great, but everything was so cheap. $3 in Las Vegas is basically free. So I uh, grabbed a bunch of these Built shirts. Built's not that great, but everything was super cheap. And Built usually does have a good sell-through rate. It's just, you ain't gonna get more than $20 for it. Some tank tops, all this Built stuff, T-shirts. A lot of people wear this around here. I like, I wouldn't pay $5 for these. This company, I sold some shorts from them. 
uh, for like 40 bucks. It's called Dark Sport. I don't know if you can see that because I'm using my iPad to record this. Dark Sport, can you, can you read that? I don't know if you can. Oh, maybe on the back you can. Dark Sport. I, I didn't look up this shirt, but the shorts sell for a lot of money. It's like a streetwear kind of uh, athletic brand. D-A-R-C, Sport, look it up. An REI co-op shirt, this is the Sahara shirt. I've sold this dozens of times. The Sahara long sleeve. This I guess I paid up on, half off of 20. The comps look pretty darn good though. Um, they are Shoe Palace, never heard of it. Muhammad Ali shorts. They're kind of cool. Probably like 35, 40 bucks. Um, I think this is either youth or women's. It's tiny, but it was 250 and it's cool. It's a polar Ralph Lauren shirt with like all these sick patches on it. Like distressed paint splatter. If the polar Ralph Lauren stuff is cool, I grab it. Uh, new with tag Yoli's. G4, anybody? But it's women's G4, unfortunately. Very strange shirt. Um, but yeah, that's what the, uh, on the G4 polos and stuff, that's what it's gonna look like there. And that's another reason I didn't question those golf pullovers was because, uh, I find a lot of G4 at this thrift store. And a lot of good golf brands. With, like I think this one has, yeah, the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. Yeah, so I don't know if the Cosmo like donates stuff there or what, but pretty cool. Hey, uh, Lululemon polo shirt. A Polo Ralph Lauren, new with tags, uh, like women's golf jersey shirt thing with a zipper, half off. Another built shirt. I gotta blaze through these because I have a lot of them. This is all still the first store. Um, some Roan pants. You can always identify them by some red writing on the back of the waist. Some nice like performance chinos. The Patagonia, like Capeline shirt, probably women's, based on the graphic. And then we got some Peter Millar women's golf pants. Uh, we looked these up, they're not that great, but I decided to grab them because, despite what the comps say, Peter Millar women's stuff has sold really well for me in the past. I decided I can wait on them for three bucks. And then we hit up a saver, so we paid a ton of money for this stuff, but I do get a 20% discount. Like these were probably 12 bucks after discount. They're diesel jeans. I usually get like 45 bucks for them though. Ugh. I've been experimenting with more vintage Wrangler jeans because I'm really good at selling Vintage Levi's. Well, I don't know if I'm good at it, but they, they just sell themselves. But I got a feeling I've been following some people on Instagram that are really into Western wear and they show all their Western wear stuff. And the vintage cowboy cuts is like the standard what they wear. The 13 MWZs made in USA. So I'm just going to start picking them up. The 13 in, thir they'll say 13 MWZ on the inside and made in USA. I'm not going to grab any made in Mexico though. Because I just listed a couple pairs of women's ones the other day. Comps weren't that great. Less than for 30. Sold two pairs immediately for 25 a piece. So I was like, oh man, like the same day. So I'm like, ah, ah. Maybe they are gonna be good. Uh, just some vintage Levi's that have been hemmed. Um, but they've got cool distressing. So I grab them. Still at the savers. Another pair of diesel jeans. 
Oh, these ones are like all wrinkled up. Should be good though. Probably have another 40, 45 bucks on those. Some styles are better than others. These were kind of cheap for savers, but they are not in good condition. They're just Levi, they're not Levi's, um, Lululemon ABC pants, but they've got like fading on the button stuff. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Then we got a pair of good sell through rate on Fabletics, the only pants. I keep grabbing them. And they sell like decently well. You only get like. 20, 25 bucks for them. If they're new tags, maybe 30, 35. And a uh, Vintage G Abercrombie hoodie. The cool, like, faded, worn graphic. Abercrombie hoodies usually do pretty good during the winter. And then we're back to half off Goodwill. Some 550s. Not that great, but I was trying to pick up all the Levi's I could find because I can get at least 20 bucks for any pair of Levi's that's in my brain. Huge Duluth shorts. Like I wouldn't usually grab those unless they were as cheap as they were. Some vintage anchor blue, loose fit, jorts. Nice little Lululemon tee. Like a performance one. I don't know what style this one is and it doesn't have a dot and it doesn't have anything to help me. It's got a little thing on the back of the neck. Do you know what style this is? Because you can typically get uh, quite a bit more when you know the style, but I don't know that style. I know like the Swiftly Tex, um, Metal Vent Tech. Uh, maybe one more right now, but I don't remember right now. Some cinch jeans. Some, like, long boot cut ones. Probably, like, 20, 25 bucks. More cinch jeans. I haven't found those in a while, so I don't know if they're even good at all anymore. But I grab them. More cinch jeans. They're probably fine. More sense jeans. Uh, an American Giant shirt, just a basic tee. Two bucks. I don't know what those go for anymore, but American Giant, like their, their, um, their big cotton jackets still sell really well. Yeah, another Lululemon shirt. This one's like a basic, like, casual one. My girlfriend said, I saw this, we were walking by a rack, and then I was like, oh, there's a little limit. And I grabbed it, and she was like, wow, that's so cute how you can spot it so quick. And I was like, oh, thank you. Uh, L.L. Bean Made in USA. Just grab all the L.L. Bean Made in USA stuff. It's all sells super fast if you just price it at the market price. Um, I grab all the polo linen pants I find. Those usually sell pretty quick as well. These ones are kind of like a nasty cream color. Here's that brand Tracksmith I was telling you about. The merino wool stuff is really good. I don't know what the hell this is. It's like a uh, Henley made out of like terry. I don't know. Should be fine though, because that brand is really good. Mole G4. And we got to this surf store where I'm pulling all this stuff out at two o'clock on a half off day. I don't know where everyone was, but it was sick. All right, I'm buttoning the button, sorry. But that's what the logo looks like right there. Mm -hmm. Got some vintage Levi's jorts. 
with these cool, I don't know what these pockets are called. They're not cargo. There's something else, but they're cool. This was the Lululemon shirt that my girlfriend was impressed that I identified because it was inside out and we walked by quickly. But yeah, it's just a long sleeve, probably metal vent shirt. Very nice. Uh, then we got a uh, vintage t-shirt for myself. I like this one. It's kind of like a knit material. Kind of cool. I got a denim and supply Ralph Lauren pearl snap. Probably not that good, but also not bad. We got a nice big pair of Lulus. These are commission pants, I believe. Just sitting right there on the rack. And this thrift store always sucks. So I don't know why it was good today. Then girlfriend found a pair of Prana pants that she's gonna sell. She looked up the sell through and stuff on this style. style. Good sell through, I don't remember what the style is called because I don't really do the women's. Uh, it should sell for like 25 bucks. And this is also my girlfriend's findings. She found some Lululemon camo uh, leggings for herself. And she found a Royal Robins jacket that she's going to wear to work because it matches her scrubs. And then back to me. This is my last bag. My first time finding Loro Piana. Unfortunately, there's the, uh, the, the fabric is Loro Piana. The company that makes the jacket, unfortunately, is Cremu, Daniel Cremu. Can you see that? I'm filming with my iPad, so this is kind of backwards. Um, six bucks. Even though it's Cremu, you should still be able to get over a hundred bucks for this. So, pretty cool because of the Loro Piana. Um, but Cremu, not so good usually. Got some 517s, one of my favorite styles of Levi's, in my favorite color of Levi's, black. Got some more 517s, in my favorite style of Levi's, in my favorite color of Levi's. Not my favorite size though, these are 36, 32, but they're cheap. And then last but not least, ah. Uh, just another pair of cinch jeans. And that is everything I found at the thrifts today. Thank you for watching.